barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Daddy does videos all day. He ain't here, so I figured I'll get it in for y'all. But uh, I want to talk about Billy Joe Saunders and the Deontay Wilder fiasco incident, premeditated incident. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, <clears throat> the truth shall come to light. Dante has, uh, he says, you can wrap it up, you can put it in the cell, but the truth will always prevail, right? That rhyme. What did I, I, I got to rewatch this video. <laughs> uh, uh, I thought that was ingenuine by Billy Joe Saunders. Uh, Deontay Wilder responded as only Deontay Wilder will respond. He's definitely acting in character as he says he's come in peace and he's a real nigga. Not but, not yet, and he's a real nigga. And I don't want the white audience to, to see that, but I'm talking about, and he's a real man. Right in my neighborhood, we call them a real nigga. But in in your neck of the woods, you might say he's a real man. You got to treat him as such. And uh, <clears throat> only thing I wish, I wish he hadn't shook his hand. You know, I don't know if you guys know, but I always give white man knuckles. If I don't trust you and know you, I'm gonna just give you knuckles and keep it pushing, man. Like you know, what I mean, I I can't give because every black man that I encounter, I shake their hand and give him a hug and say I love you, whatever the case may be. Uh, I got love for you, whatever, however, deem fit. But there's always going to be some term of endearment, whether it be king, whether it be even my Latino brothers. I, it's no, I'm not, I don't waver in between the two. But if I have a relationship with you, then I may shake your hand if you're white. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, that's the truth of the matter, you know. And um, I thought that was very distasteful or disrespectful. Um, I'm glad. See, this is what's so... Hey, we got to give Boxing Voice credit, too. These motherfuckers are everywhere. I don't know... If, yeah, Ness has been... He was in Chicago, Philadelphia. He's overseas. Now he says he's coming to Riverside. I'm going to take that nigga to dinner. Ness, if you hear this video, dinner on me when you get to Riverside. Like, for real. I don't smoke weed. I know you love weed and all that shit. But just out of a matter of respect and as a token of appreciation, uh, I don't have your number. That's, what, that's why we got into the spit last time, because I didn't have your number. And I just reached out to you on Instagram, what, what the case may be. But, uh, um, um, yeah, man, um, I just got a text. Sorry. But, Ness, dinner's on me. When you come to Mikey Garcia, we can do five-star, three-star, whatever you want. I mean, that's the least I could do for you giving. I'm, I literally have about 15 videos I can make off of your stuff. And I haven't gotten them yet. I, I've, I've mentally taken notes, and I need to get them out. But uh, I just want to say thank you. And, and, and and the reason why I said that is I'm glad he was there. I'm totally glad Ness was there because if Ness wasn't there this morning, it would have been a different, excuse me, a different narrative on the bloggers, on ESPN, Showtime, whatever the case, whatever on the zone, whatever the UK newspapers, it would have been a different, it would have been a completely different narrative. Why? Because Deontay Wilde is black. He's every champion in the world and he's a visitor to a different country. All right. But because Ness was there and Deontay Wilder basically came up to him as a man. Like, like, and uh, it's just a, man, it's just a beautiful thing when our uh, black world champion has, has the self-respect and the dignity to be himself in every sense of the word, in every entity, in, in every venue. Um, that's not the word I'm looking for. In every aspect as it relates to real life issues or real life positive or negatively. And that's one of the problems we had with President Obama. Although I will never forget that first Tuesday uh, in 2007, was it November 2007? You know, I, uh, it, 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 was a, it, it, was a, it was a day of reckoning for me. Irony, it was beautiful, it was poetic, it was sad because that morning, one of my dear friends I went to college where he buried his mother that morning and I went straight to the polls and voted for President Obama. You understand what I'm saying? I, I, I know exactly where I voted for him. At. I voted for him and I lived in Whittier. I voted to him at the Whittier Rec. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I, uh, I'll i never forget that day. I cried like a baby when I saw him at, was it Lincoln Park? Was it Lincoln Park when one of the most beautiful pictures you've ever seen of a black husband and wife, fuck black husband, of a husband and wife that night when, when they hugged and embraced each other, Michelle Obama and Barack Obama embraced and hugged. That was... You see how it's etched in my brain. You see how I how I remember that day so vividly. You understand? Oprah crying 
with the fans, hugging white people. You, like like that that day, like how people say they remember when uh, Martin Luther King was assassinated, Malcolm X was assassinated. That day for me, will it, it, it reigns supreme. So I will never ever discredit President Obama for the inspiration that that he drove within me, inspired me to be. You understand and. Uh, uh, and I respect Deontay Wilder for being once the for him going over to Belfast and being the world champion, the heavyweight world champion of the world, the heavyweight champion of the world. Excuse me. I think that's beautiful when he's he's himself in Belfast. He's himself in Alabama, New York, Barclays Center, wherever the case may be. So for that week, we should stand up and salute this man. And. Uh, uh, Billy Joe Saunders will get a hero's welcome when he gets here. No doubt in my mind. He will get a hero's welcome. Don't you know Deontay Wilder could be at fight week and fuck his mental game completely up. Just his presence will give Joe... What's his name? Uh, I'm not saying his nickname. Andrade. I hate his nickname. I can't say his nickname. You know, um, uh, that will give Andrade the advantage to beat him. You know, and uh, that might be the edge he may need. You know, it's a, it's definitely a 50-50 fight now. I mean, we don't know how good Andrade is at 60. We don't know how consistent Billy Joe Saunders is at 160 based off of his last five fights. If you compile these guys together, compile these fights together. And uh, I don't know. See, here's, see, we got to, not we got to, but this is what I go through. When people come from white countries, is it really racism or that's how they bred it to be? And I know it's racism in America. I know it's a racist act in America. I know it's racism. I understand all of that. Is it culturally? Is it is it culture? Or is it them acting as an as an independent variable? Maybe it's a combination of both. Maybe it's one or the other. Now, I'm not forgiving the man. I'm not giving him an excuse. Please, 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 please. Don't don't go there with me. Don't even don't even think to put that in the comment section. I'm not going there with that. All right. Um, but we got to take into account how these countries, because they get the news from American culture, right? I want you guys to see how they're being fed. They watch American TV. They watch American newspapers. They watch us in the public eye. They watch us on YouTube now. And they see how we're treated in America. And because they're in another country and they're of the same complexion for the protection, they have the right to entitlement. And this is not just 10 years, 20 years. This is hundreds of years of, of uh, learning this behavior. You understand? So, so at the end of the day, I know it was a, a racist act. I know it was a, more importantly, it was a cowardly act, right? He's not going to get off the hook for being a fighter. L -l Listen to this. For being a fighter and running. Billy Joe Sanders is probably 180 pounds right now. Deontay Wilder is 220 pounds easy. Deontay Wilder doesn't go over 225. That's pretty much an even fight. Every fight... Nine out of ten fights I've ever been in, I've been the shortest or I've been outweighed. The 10% fights, I thank God for them because I know I probably won those fights. <laughs> but I'm just saying just in the hood, like genuinely speaking, like I don't understand where, how he's fearful. Where does the fear come into play? Because he's the baddest man on the planet. <laughs> because he's the blackest, baddest man on the planet. I get it. I get it. And it's just, that's just poetry for us that's just saying so everybody's going to do a video on the other side of the spectrum and feel free i know i'm going to go with the other side of the spectrum and tell us every black person that's watching this video all right every puerto rican that's watching this video because you, you're black every mexican that's watching this video because you're black every latin person that's watching this video because you're black right i want you guys to fully understand this the fear that they have of us will forever be present. I'm going to say this again. The fear that they have for us will forever be present. And I need you guys to fully understand. I need you guys to internalize that. I need you guys to engrave that in your kids. 
and it and it and it and it comes up it arises in incidents like this he could have stayed there but he had the protection for the complexion on youtube I don't know who did that interview. I, I, I need to rewatch. I need to watch that. I should have did that interview. I should have. Let me do that now because they need to held, be held accountable too. If uh, Billy Joe Saunders, let's call Billy Joe Saunders. Let's Google it. Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders. Calls Wilder. It was on IFL TV. In addition, it says Deontay Wilder is a racist. Billy Joe Saunders goes in on Wilder, talks Brooks. So that's uh oh she got four hundred oh yeah four hundred it got almost five hundred thousand views on IFL TV. IFL needs to be held accountable as well. All right. So so at the end of the day. Let me go back to this screen. It's real. All right. This is real out here. And the flip side of this spectrum is we have all the power we need and desire. We just got to use it for the greater good of us and our culture and our brothers and sisters. All right. And I hope this makes sense to you. Hopefully you guys internalize what I just said in these last two and a half, three minutes. All right. You're going to go to the other videos and get like, oh, it was a quote-unquote racist act it was yeah he th he threw a chicken and acted like a chicken yes that's that's the, that's the knee-jerk reaction and it's the truth but the other end the other side of the spectrum is we are all we need we are all kings all right and they have put things in place like the willie lynch syndrome like equal like the word equality like the word diversity listen i'm gonna do a video there's no such thing as diversity in terms of the human color and skin because we all come from Africa. Think about that for a second. We are all descendants of Africa. We are all descendants of the motherland, right? So if that's to be true, and archaeologists have proved this to be true, white archaeologists have proved that to be true, there's no such thing as diversity. And I need you guys to internalize that and think about that for a second. But I know I'm going off somewhere, and I know you guys have been with me for a minute, so you understand exactly what I'm trying to say. N not trying to say, what I am saying. We got enough. The way you run your house is the way you can run your business, the way you can run your life, and the way you can impact the world, the way you can impact your neighborhood, the way you can impact your city, your state, your nation, and the world. All right? We have the power. All right? And, and I want us to fully, fully understand this, okay? Please, please, please understand this. All right, there's a, go to my, I, I need you guys to go to my Instagram. Go to my Instagram, Silent Heroes, S-I-L-E-N-T-H-E-R-O-S. And I just posted something that Donald Trump just said. He may be sarcastic, but remember, there's truth in every joke. All right, that, that's what makes jokes so hilarious because it's so relatable to us. How could someone else make that mistake? Ha <laughs> ha, right? So, uh, so yes, everything that the other channels will say about this is true. But the flip side of the coin is that we are so powerful. But what's most prevalent in this video is that fear will always reside in that white man. Let me tell you something. Fear will always be present in that white man when we are present and are in a dominant position. I'm going to end it on that because I want you guys to think about that. Barbershop Conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. August 26th, back to school drive. August 26th, back to school drive. If you want to donate, FHAW17 at Gmail. If you want to do PayPal. Uh, if you just want to come down, feel free to come down. It's going to be in a GS parking lot in Inglewood. In Inglewood, GS Sports Bar and Lounge. Everybody in the hood know where that's at. If you want to come out from 10 to 2, we got 51 backpacks. And if we get some more donations, I might I might turn it up to a hundred, yo. I might turn this shit up to a hundred. You know what I mean? Hundred. I might I might go back and get fifty more because um, by the donations, I want everything to be in this back to school drive. I want everything to be in this back to school drive. So, anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button if you want to donate. Go to PayPal f h a w seventeen at gmail. Uh, appreciate the subscribers that uh, that reached out. My New York Connect, I don't know if he wants me to put his name out there, but uh, uh, my New York Connect, I genuinely appreciate you donating. 
uh, beautiful gesture. We fuck with each other heavy on Instagram. I thank you for that. Uh, and uh, but yeah, man. So, so let's so let's make love to each other today. I'm not gonna say no homo because I want us to really love each other. I want us to really fall in love with one another. I want us to really love our brown brothers, our black brothers. Remember, we all come from the same place. You know, the Willie Lynch syndrome wasn't just for black people. It was for blacks and Latinos as well. You know, the house Negro, shades of color. It's not just for blacks. It's for Mexicans versus blacks, Asians versus blacks. And we live, we live to fight another day. Anyways, barbershop conversations. I'll holler. Peace.